You know, I mean, that was one thing about McEnroe. He did fundamental, what I call core fundamental one very well, the 45 degree angle. That guy, he freaking lived at the 45 degree angle and he had no stroke. He would be small at the 45 and then big at the 45. And that was it. Kind of mm-hmm. like, believe it or not, very much like Nadal. The only difference is Nadal has a little bit more core and and, and he uses it well and he's got a strong core. So he had a bigger hit. McEnroe didn't have a big hit. I've hit next to him a million times in New York and uh, I hit the ball as big as he does. And I ain't, and I ain't McEnroe. So he never had a big hit. He, he was, had a, an unusual serve that really threw people off great hands at net, great volleys, but he was never known for his ground strokes. And he certainly wasn't known for his beautiful ground strokes. No one ever said, oh, McEnroe is such a pretty player. That never came up, kind of like Serena. No one's ever said, oh, look how effortless Serena is. Um, so I guess I, I like to look at different players personally as my poster boys and girls, you know, to, to use. Because when you watch mm-hmm. a Federer, his drawback, the way he goes into the stroke is just as important as his delivery, yeah. where McEnroe yeah. was more like a Connors. It was very mechanical, mm-hmm. and it was a different game back then. Once again, like you said, uh, Sifu, you, you, uh, it was about getting to net, and that ain't the case anymore. Yeah. Uh, so, I, so yeah, so I, I find uh, those new buzzwords, like I said, I don't think buzzwords help people. I think if they understand the game, really understand it, then they can play a good game. But if you're just going to, you know, give people tips and and then drills to enforce those tips, then you, you're going to have to do what most of these coaches do, which is let's work on this shot. Let's work on the high forehand. Let's work on the short forehand. And instead of let me give you an idea of, of the whole game, and understanding how you move and how you move in relationship to the oncoming figure eight in the ball, right? Rising, dropping, rising again. How do you move with the movement of the ball? And then we don't have to go over one shot at a time and try to put your game together that way. You have a holistic understanding of the game and whatever shot comes up, you'll be ready because you're in a, you're in this conscious flow and i don't mean fluffy like the inner game i mean mathematically you know exactly you know you know exactly how this flow works so that's 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 how i see the game a little bit differently than most people you know my uh pro in florida is uh also interested in tennis history and the education of tennis history and he knows that i look into these things and i said do you know the origin of the split step and and he said no, but if you find that out, I would I would like to know. And so I asked the coach here in uh, Playa del Carmen, Francisco, and he said when he learned in college, he's fifty, so uh, forty years, uh, no, twenty years, uh, thirty years ago, uh, he learned in college. Uh, they and before that, when he was sixteen, he learned this what they called the the stutter step. Is that the is that the correct transition to the split step? And so That's he right. didn't know how back he didn't know the origin of both of those either of those practices or the words he just knew when he learned about it. Have you looked into that, or have you heard from any anybody when the that came about? No, I never have. I had a coach um, back in Atlanta, Georgia. I, I quit college in the middle and went pro for like six months, and then went back to college because I got my brains beaten in. Um, all he talked about, you know, because that's the problem when you have an okay stroke. Most coaches think, oh, all you need to do is play more, better footwork, get strong. But the fact is, the stroke isn't perfect. I mean, that's really, it's, it comes down to the stroke. I'm sorry. It all comes down to form. The stutter step actually killed me. That that really hurt. And that was his emphasis. Split step, stutter step, footwork, footwork, footwork. My game actually got worse. Um, 